All right, fans, we're now getting set up here, and there we see the HCW Tag Team Tournament Finals. It's going to be for the HCW Unified Tag Team Championships. Of course, it's an elimination table match here, putting the Ministry against this team from the Main Event Nation, Speck and Fletch. And I tell you, Daniel, it's just amazing that both of these teams made it through the first two rounds and held on to their titles. So in my opinion, I mean, this is like the rightful ending to this tournament. I mean, we've got the two tag team champions going head to head to determine who is the best tag team in all of HCW. We're gonna find out here tonight. I completely agree. This is most probably the proper match on how it should have been done. But what you gotta remember is, is that right now, Speck and Fletcher have the biggest disadvantage out of the teams, mainly because Ministry in some way will be a fresher team unlike Speck and Fletch as their first match was a quick match and the second match was you know tiring but it wasn't tiring enough so Ministry pretty much has got an advantage here tonight and plus being that it is a tables match which is going to be which is hardcore rules and the Ministry pretty much live on hardcore rules. Exactly I mean you think you would think that this match was designed specifically for the Ministry to win and it's like I said at the beginning of the tournament, you know, the Ministry or the team I'm banking on to win this thing here tonight. And I mean, I'm not a very big fan of the Ministry, but I hate Main Event Nation even more. So I've got to say, I'm kind of in the Ministry's corner here tonight. But the whole thing about the tables match, and I agree with what you said about hardcore rules and everything, but you've just got to look at the power of Aaron Fletcher in this matchup. I mean, I can honestly tell you, just the experience of watching Fletcher's career unfold before my eyes on Rampage. This kid could literally take Adam and Beelzebub, stack them on top of each other, and slam them through a stack full of tables without even flinching. So that's one thing uh, the Ministry have got to look out for, is the power of Aaron Fletcher here tonight. I agree with you. Fletcher has got the power, but I'm kind of pushing with the Ministry. I mean, we've seen stuff what Adam's done with tables. He convoluted the damn jailbird for a table and broke his neck. He set people on fire. On the very first OFW, he broke Ryan's nose. On the very first thing. And then Beelzebub came in, and we've seen the stuff he's done. He's put people through burning tables. He's destroyed people. The Ministry do not care who you are. They will destroy you. And honestly, as, as you said, I do not like both of these factions. Both of these factions are pretty, you know, they're not meant to be liked. They are not liked. They are just vile, evil factions, if you will. But it's just, in my opinion, it's going to go in the favor of the Ministry. They are designed for this match. Definitely. I agree 100%. And this is going to be a very, very high-paced matchup because the fact of it being no DQ, you've got to wonder... Are more ministry members going to get involved? Are more main event nation members going to get involved? We've already seen Paul Barber win the Intercontinental title, and then right after this matchup, we've got Paul Haw or Mark Hawkins and Wu Tang Man in that elimination chamber. I mean, they've got what a third of a chance in the main event nation to walk out of the elimination chamber with one of their men as world champion. I mean, main event nation have all the cards here tonight. I mean, yeah, Black Dust did win the hardcore title. So, I mean, this, either one of these two factions could walk out of here with a lot of gold here tonight. That's the way as it seems, hey. Look spectacular there. We're hitting Ryan in the, uh, hitting Ryan and now I'm in the face with a table. I apologize. But as I was saying, it looks like, uh, it's kind of strange, but made of a nation so far took all the offense here. Definitely. They're not wasting any time. I mean, they know what they're up against, you know. I mean, I'm sure that Paul Barber, you know, he had all those feuds before with Adam, and I'm sure that he probably went and, and told his Man Event Nation teammates, look, you've got to get in there and you've got to dominate from the beginning. Don't let these guys get an opportunity to ground you, because if they do, you're not going to walk out as champions tonight. And now we see just the destruction of the ministry here, Adam and Beelzebub just taking it to the Man Event Nation right now. That's been looking at Fletcher's head getting smacked in. It looks spectacular there. I mean, we talk about Fletcher with all the power, but you cannot count out spectacular. He is one powerful guy. He's a big guy. He could lift Beelzebub and Adam easy. But no, Beelzebub and Adam are not going to let him do it. And look at Beelzebub here. Look at this. Oh, oh my man. God. 
That was unbelievable there. Now spectacular. He's slow to get back up, but it's going to take a little bit more than that to take the main event mission out. And, and I mean, you're speaking of spectacular, you know, about how, you know, his uh, physique and everything, but you can't really take away from his resume either. I mean, he is a three-time world heavyweight champion here in HCW. I mean, no other man in HCW has held the world title more than Spectacular has. So, I mean, that alone just puts him up there on the chart of, like, uh, the most extreme guys, I guess you could say, you know, whatever, however you want to, you know, word that, but, you know, you put him and Fletcher together, I mean, it's just, it's, to me, it's a match made in heaven, you know, between these two guys. Totally agree with you here, but as I'm saying, I think Main Red Nation and Speck and Flash uh, are kind of out of their game here. This is a ministry, this is a ministry match, pretty much you could say. And look, you see Adam here putting the table in the corner. He knows what to do. You know, I mean, special Speck and Flash most probably have been in table matches before in previous careers and, and, uh, and rampage and such. But pretty much, I'd be able to breathe the table match. They know how to do it. They know all the moves, they know how to get away from tables, but I think really whoever goes through the table the first time as is elimination rules that team who's going to be in a disadvantage pretty much so exactly. it's going to be hell to see who's going to go through the table first. You know if I'm the ministry I'm thinking of maybe you know, trying to get rid of Fletcher first you know I mean because like I said before Fletcher being the strongest of the two really in my opinion I th honestly think that Fletcher could very well possibly be the strongest man out of all four of these guys. And, I mean, I think if I'm the ministry, I would take out Fletcher first and then gang up on Spectacular. And then if I'm Main Event Nation, I guess it really doesn't matter between Adam and Beelzebub. I mean, they're basically, you know, twins, if you will. I mean, there's really no way to tell between the two of them which one's more dangerous. Both is dangerous to see each other, but if anything, if the main event nation want to focus on someone, I would say Beelzebub, because Beelzebub is much quicker than Adam. Beelzebub can move around faster. I mean, he's done moves where he jumps over the body and has a drop kick to the face. I mean, he's quick, but as Adam's slower. So really, if Be they take out Beelzebub, then it's pretty much you just got a slow guy that they can work on. But of course. You know, Ministry are not going to let him do such a thing. Now, you see Fletcher there with that table, not taking both Ministry members down with that one table. And again, look, and Fletcher, man, he's just powerful. Exactly. You know, he even took out his own partner there. I mean, you know, that's the thing about these matches like this. I mean, you take ladder matches, uh, table matches, any match where you're, you know, tag team style matches, the partners are going to accidentally hit each other. I mean, it's bound to happen. And, oh, man, Fletcher right there, that was a... I'm actually kind of surprised there Fletcher allowed himself to be in that spot, you know, standing there taunting and took a table right to the ribs. I mean, you know, Fletcher still, you know, he's a great competitor, but he's still got a little bit of that rookie still left in him there, and he's got a lot to learn, you know, and Spectacular is the man who can definitely teach it to him. That is correct, but one thing we always got to remember is the fact that Fletcher is still a rookie. Yes, yeah, he's got much to learn, but I think being within Main Event Nation is not going to really help him because you go into Main Event Nation, you pretty much become 100% cocky. You don't really care, you know. And so I think Fletcher within Main Event Nation with Spectacular is going to look spectacular. There. Oh my oh, God! Man. As I was, anyway, as I was saying, Fletcher is going to learn a lot from Spectacular, but he's also going to learn how to be cocky within Main Event Nation. Definitely. And I'm telling you, this is really heating up here. I mean, you got Spectacular and Adam going back and forth. You've got Fletcher and Beelzebub going back and forth. And, I mean, this is just crazy here. And what's Beelzebub doing here? He's, like, he's spinning Fletcher around now. And Fletcher with a reversal here. Now it looks like Spectacular and Fletcher both turn into attention to Adam. And once again, another rookie mistake here by Fletcher. I mean, he turned his back on Beelzebub. And now he's paying for it. Yeah, he's going to be paying for it now. But now the match is pretty much spread out here. But look at Adam now driving a face spectacular into the ring steps. And it's just going to be. It's one of these matches yet again when you can't think who's going to go through the table first. It's just so even. You could say it's just such an easy, even matchup. You just don't know. And look at Beelzebub there with that belly to belly suplex onto Fletcher there. Man, I tell you, this is an incredible matchup so far. I mean. You know, we couldn't expect any less. I mean, we've got the two top tag teams right now. I mean, they're both dominant tag team champions 
on their respective TV shows before we did HCW 2.0, and now I mean they're just two combustible elements right now, and they're exploding on one another. And the biggest thing is only one team's gonna walk out champions.